<laughs> Konpamon, everyone! Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time zone you're in. And welcome! Welcome to more firework. Hello, 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 everyone. How are you feeling today? <coughs> My throat's still kind of screw, screwy. Gotta make sure I'm well hydrated. So we're gonna be doing some reading today. We're starting uh, the next chapter of firework. Hello, hello! Busy day? Ah, uh, <laughs> no. I woke up an hour ago. <laughs> Actually, it's more like 45 minutes ago I woke up. Uh, sleep schedule is awful right now. Um, let's see. Uh, I keep waking up at like 5 p.m. Between 3 and 5 p.m. Uh, after, after the Ada Ada stream on Sunday, I will be trying to fix my sleep schedule. It is a steady process. Slow and steady, you know? Um, so I will be having morning streams rather than evening streams starting next week for a bit. So we're, I'm gonna have streams at like 6 a.m. Pacific time next week. <laughs> I wanna try to fix my sleep schedule again before I, uh, start before I do another SCP stream, so the next one will probably be at the end of the week. Hopefully by then my sleep schedule will be okay and I can have that in like the afternoon. Uh, so yeah. Um, but yeah, next week, all morning streams. Pretty much all morning streams. Maybe some in the middle of the night because I'll probably be waking up in the middle of the, the night. Yeah, let's see how you guys are doing. Uh, I ate duck from an authentic Chinese restaurant. Ooh, fancy! I don't... I think I've had duck, but I'm not 100% sure. Feeling good? I hope your throat isn't too bad. Ah, uh, it's a lot better than yesterday. It's still kind of eh right now, though. Uh, I'm doing okay. School is hard, though. Oh, I hope school gets better. Yeah, it's always harder when you go back, I feel like. Uh, kind of drained. Work was fine until about 3 p.m. my end, and then stuff went to hell. Oh, no, Marthe, I'm sorry. I hope that your day improves. Uh, keep that mud water ready. <laughs> what? Are you a cat or fox? Cute nonetheless. I'm a dog. Woof. <laughs> Better today than I was this morning. Had to stay home from work because my back was killing me. Oh, it's a fox! I'm sorry! I really, really hope your back feels better. I've been awake since 6 a.m. Oh, God. Bad sleep schedule, gang. Bad sleep schedule, gang! So, Shiki, the last <laughs> The retweet, you expect to watch that out in the open? What are you talking about? Do you mean the, like... Uh, ASMR thing uh, that I sent to Mista. He asked for it on his birthday stream. I was watching his birthday countdown stream before I started my own stream. And he was like, you guys remember the... <laughs> and I, I found it for him because I remember it. Uh, because uh, Sho actually sent it to me. Because he was like, he, he reminds me of that ASMR <laughs> boyfriend <laughs> video. <laughs> it's so funny sped up. It's so, so funny sped up. I love that video. Nice slack ASMR. Yeah, I had I muted it as soon as I heard it. Sorry about that, guys. Sometimes I just forget that slack is a thing. Um, I've been having a rough week with my toxic mom, but the stream makes me feel better. Oh no, I'm sorry you've had a rough week. I'm glad that the stream can help a little bit. Uh, hi, Shiki. Hi, Occupation Army. Oh, Kat, thank you for the super chat. Oof, streams, I can't catch if they're that early. Well, hey, Shiki. Hi, Kat. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, eventually, it'll be back to normal. Eventually, it'll be back to normal. So, uh, EU gang uh, will be a bit pleased, probably for a bit. Come on, hi, Darren. Uh, I made chunky juice. What is chunky juice, pork? She doing her bi-weekly sleep schedule reset. No, for real, for real, for real. I've got to get this sorted out by February. I really need to have this sorted out. I have a friend visiting in February, and I need to make sure that I'm actually awake for when she's here. <laughs> um, Shiki doing... Yeah, what are we having for dinner, Shiki? Ah! So, I... I don't have a lot of money right now. <laughs> you know, end of the month struggle. Uh, but, uh... I, I'm trying to find some coupons for Domino's because I really, really want Domino's for dinner. <laughs> Uh, I'm going through the motions myself. Life is getting boring. Oh no! The biggest head is loser. Ah, uh, this time of year just sucks, you know? This time of the year just fucking sucks. It'll... When spring comes... I usually start feeling better, like, mentally around February, I notice. Like, between February and March, I feel like... 
uh, my seasonal depression gets a bit better and life doesn't feel so mundane and gray, you know? Uh, been go good, second day of school went well. I'm glad, Golden Titan. Cat, obviously. This is Cat Project. <laughs> At the doggo. Thank you, Floof's Cheeky's Tail. Thank you, John. Cute dog, thank you. Hi, Shiki. Hi. Thank you. I should be fine. I just sprained something at work. Oh, no! Hoping for a speedy recovery. Cocaine <laughs> Drift King. Oh, God, not that ASMR video. Suspicious. Yeah, Shiki, we're gonna talk about the redacted ASMR you like to li- I don't like to listen to it. I- It's a meme. Uh, so I'm gonna have to watch that now. It's funny! Is it that one where it's supposed to be hot, but it's a guy just yelling that- Yes, yes, yes! It's that one! Sometimes I wish I could forget Slack is the thing. Yeah, someone link me the ASMR thing. Good morning, she good morning. Have you seen the Mandela catalog? I have! I need I, I heard that there was a new one, but I'm not sure if that's like out on YouTube yet or if that's just on Patreon. Uh speaking of, uh, you know, the creator of Mandela catalog is also very, very uh is is like friends with Windagoon, who is another really great content creator that I like to watch, and he just reached a million subscribers. Congrats, Windagoon. I know he'll never watch this, but congratulations. I love him so much. Uh I think later today I'm actually gonna watch his SCP video. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I'll miss you, cat. <laughs> oh no. Every stream helps me keep going when times are tough. Oh, I'm glad KK Nitro. Early streams are indeed the worst. I'm sorry! It's the only way I can fix my schedule. And we do have to fulfill a certain quota uh, every week of streams that we do. Seeing your current sleep schedule, you're sleeping like an hour before I wake up. Want to bonk you hard? <laughs> I'm sorry! It's not my fault. I have anxiety and anxiety keeps me awake. Did someone say cheeky funds? No! <laughs> Seasonal depression be like that sometimes. Yeah, it do. I get, I get... I start getting depressed near the end of October. Or around October. And then I just stay in a really bad funk until like February. Uh, Shiki streams always make me feel better. You guys are great and Shiki, you're such a chill and nice person watching you. It's like listening to a friend. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad I have friend energy. <laughs> it's juice, but it has giant chunks of fruit in it. I think it's like premium baby food. I see. I think a friend of mine likes that kind of thing. N bad sleep schedule, no money sounds relatable. Yeah. Isn't that the millennial? Uh, actually, it's more like millennial and Zoomer like lifestyle. <laughs> Uh, can't wait for spring. Yeah, end of the month. Are we like two weeks away from February? Also, no depression, only chic. If there's anything you need, just ask. No, I'm good. <laughs> it's end of the month for me. I think I get... I think prison pays me in like five days? Five or six days. That's when they usually send payment. It's like around the 24th or 25th of every month. Um, did I hear tail pats? Yes! Give me tail pats. Hey, Shiggy, everyone. Hope you are all doing well and having a good day. Hello, Night Mage. Welcome. I was a Downing Thomas, but Chunky Juice has won me over. That sounds lit. It does sound kind of lit. Except the chunky fruit. <laughs> if it were like more uh, pureed, I feel like I'd enjoy it. Life is by definition worthless. The sooner you realize the happier you'll be. I don't want to do that. Have you been feeling well today? How are you? I just woke up. Good morning, Sam. The new Mandela catalog is out on YouTube now. It's so good. Oh, I need to watch it. Uh, volume 2 is out on YouTube and it's pretty good. Ah, oh, I'm so excited to watch! Uh, we're gonna make a Windagoon and Shiki collab happen. God, that would honestly be a dream. <laughs> It'd be so cool. I love watching him and his girlfriend banter. They're so cool. Let's see. What am I missing? Lily! Hi, Lily! Shiki, I'm finally able to make it. Hi! Hi, hi, hi! I saw that you sent some messages. I still need to read them. Uh, let's see. I might miss it due to classes, Lamal, but eh, I see. Much love from the Philippines, Mama. Thank you! Mahakita! Hello, hello! Does Shiki plan more SGM in the future? What is SGM? Hi, hi. Shiki is best friend. Aw, thank you! I actually like winter less bugs to deal with. Aw, true. There's lots of mosquitoes around here. I live in the kind of subtropical environment, so... Ugh. Uh, let's see... Hi, Shiki. Hi, Jet. Hi, Adrian. Just arrived. What is this padding you speak of? Hello, Tony! We are padding my tail. Isn't it against Prism TOS to disclose payment information? I'm just saying when we get, like, 
paid, usually. It's not like I'm disclosing, like, how much I get paid, you know? I've never seen anything, like, obviously, like, you know, like, I'm not saying anything that's defaming Prism Project, so it's not like I can get in trouble for saying, oh, you know, we get paid on this time of the month, you know? Because, <laughs> like, YouTube has a set day that they do payouts, and I'm sure YouTube creators know when that day is. So, like, and then you, Prism does their own accounting, so. It takes a month for YouTube to do their accounting and then for Prism to do their own accounting and stuff. Does the company require you to cater to multiple time zones? It would make sense if that was the case. No. <laughs> no, we just stream when when we can, basically. Uh, I know that they, they wanted everyone to stream at specific times. Uh, I think ESD wanted me to stream at a specific time, but I think she gave up on me. <laughs> I think she knows that it's difficult for me to stick to a schedule because I have like health issues. So she's just like, yeah, I gave up on that idea a while ago. <laughs> I'm a free spirit, yes. Shiki caters to multiple time zones because she's unable to maintain a steady schedule. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I, I I cater to everyone a little bit every every couple weeks. Uh, depending on my sleep schedule, I may cater to the EU gang. Or I may cater to, like, um, Southeast Asia or uh, America or, you know. It's, it's all over the place. It's really all over the place. Can't teach an old dog new tricks. Yeah, I can't maintain a schedule for the life of me. Uh, I feel like it was so much easier when I was, like, in school. Yeah. Are there any rules about conflicting stream times with your gen mates? Uh, there's no rule like that, but it is, like, common courtesy to make sure that we don't overlap really, really important events. I remember when I first started, I was still new to Google Calendar, and I accidentally overlapped with a really important stream that Rita was doing. I think it was for one of her anniversaries and I felt so bad because I'd never really used Google Calendar before. And we're, we're required to update our Google Calendar with our streams to check to make sure that we don't overlap too much or don't overlap with too many important events. Uh, I remember I felt so bad. I personally <laughs> like messaged Rita. I was like, I'm so sorry, Rita senpai. I'm so sorry, I'll be more careful, you know? Uh, I, I need to update my Google Calendar, actually. And so, like, um... Uh, we, you know, Sumi is graduating tomorrow, so obviously we're not going to overlap, uh, with Sumi's graduation. At least I think. I, I think all of us are trying to be as respectful as possible in that regard. Um... Do you also include times when you sleep in your calendar? I don't. Rita does. <laughs> right, I think Rita's the only one that does that. Cap is also very thorough in how he does his Google Calendar. You know? Honestly, you do you, Shiki. You're doing good. It's nice that more people get to check you out live. Thank you! Sumi, yeah. I'm so sad. Oh... It's gonna... It's gonna be a rough day tomorrow. That's why I don't, I don't stream tomorrow. It's because of Sumi's graduation. Will you stay in touch with Sumi after tomorrow? Yes! Uh, uh, when I had heard that she was graduating before it was ever officially announced, uh, I asked her, um, you know, if we could possibly, like, stay in touch. Like, I, I reached out to her and I, I got her, uh, some other, uh, you know, some other way of contact from her. So I'll, you know, I'll be checking in on her and stuff like that and, uh, trying to see if I can help in some way, uh, if she ever needs it. I haven't really talked a whole lot. I feel bad. I wanted to talk to her more. I'm really shy and that makes and my shyness makes me especially sad for times like these when I never really, you know, <laughs> it's sad. At least Sumi got a good send off by dominating the rest of Gen 4 penis game party. Yeah! <laughs> I saw <laughs> Sumi also said she'll be keeping an eye on the Prism Girls from the Shadows. Yeah. Yeah. You seem like the opposite of shy. I am so introverted and I'm very shy and I... 
I'm really bad at reaching out, even though I would like to. So, like, you don't see me collabing very often with people outside of, like, my friend group very often because I'm very bad at, um, I'm just very bad at keeping in touch or, like, reaching out. I'm very shy. I think it comes from, like, a fear of rejection. <laughs> so, I, I don't often talk to other VTubers, uh, just because I'm scared. She can be new for like three days before you told us. Yeah, but I'm not shy with my chat. I'm shy with other VTubers for sure. I know how you feel. You think someone who calls themselves the biggest status loser talks as much in the real world? <laughs> Giant mood about being shy to talk to people. Yeah, wow, she's just like me. <laughs> you seem so outgoing and interjected to me. You must be the celebrity glamour. I, I fully believe in faking it until you make it. <laughs> Fake it till you make it, guys. I may appear like an extrovert, but I am the biggest introvert ever. I never leave my house because I'm afraid of being around people. I am so anxious going to the grocery store or restaurants or anything. Anything. I am anxious. I am so anxious. If I went on vacation, I'd probably just stay in the hotel the entire time and watch Netflix, you know? But I feel like I am an introvert that does need to get out sometimes, but not to experience being around people, but just getting out of my house because I rarely ever do it. Uh, so I will sometimes ask uh, Shiki Mama, I'll be like, hey, can we drive down to the beach for like a few hours? I just want to walk on it for a little bit and maybe we can go eat and then we can come home, you know? Faking an introvert club, yeah. You went to Ikea once, that's a win. Yeah! Oh yeah, uh... We, uh... We were playing a game, weren't we? <laughs> I forgot. Uh... Alright, guys. I think we should finally get into the game, shall we? <laughs> oh yeah, the game. Gotta touch grass more often. I'll probably touch more grass next month because I have my friend visiting. The friend is why uh the friend is why I might be playing Breath of the Wild for the first time next month. Uh cuz um she's bringing her Switch. Uh she has an actual Switch Switch. So I was like, mm, maybe I'll get an Elgato." <laughs> you know. Wait, this isn't a Zatsu with gloomy BTM. <laughs> I feel called out. Are you secretly spying on me? No. No. Honestly, sometimes vacations are just needing a change of scenery. No, for real. For real. It's not even just like getting out to do shit. It's like the scenery or like breathing air. <laughs> But my friend will be with me for like two, three weeks, something like that. So, yeah. Zatsu with gloomy BGM is the most on brand shiki thing. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, okay. Mm. Mm, I have hiccups. Oh, Parsi! Thank you so much for the super chat. World hard and cold, cheeky stream, warm and happy. Aw, oh, I'm glad. Thank you, Parsi. Breath of the Wild is so much fun. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah! I may not get the opportunity to play it, maybe. <clears throat> I have hiccups. <clears throat> but, yeah, I hope I can. It'll be my first Zelda game. We have confirmed Zhao's fingerprints. We can start matching the three fingerprint samples that we have collected just now. Ooh. Honestly, let's do a gloomy zatsu one day. That just sounds fun. Ooh. Which fingerprint will you choose? It's gotta be one, right? Fingerprints match? Okay. Oh! Mom? What are you doing? 
Nothing. Have you finished your homework? Yes, I finished it. Mom, are you sick? I'm okay. These are sleeping pills. They help me sleep better. Can I have one, Mom? You're a kid. You don't have enough worries to keep you up all night. Will all of your worries be gone after this? Yeah, I wake up without any worries. I see. That's why you look a lot happier lately. <clears throat> Are you sure about that? <laughs> oh yeah, my birthday's coming soon. Of course I remember. I'll buy you a big cake. Yeah! Listen to me. Kids cannot take this medicine. Fang Fang is a good kid, so don't touch it, okay? Okay, I won't touch it. Alright. Now, match the fingerprint on the bottle cap in the middle. Okay, so it's clearly the third one. Yeah. Judging by its size, this is a child's fingerprint. Some traces of crayon on it. This is probably Feng Feng's fingerprint. Feng Feng's fingerprint. Oh, Tony, thank you for the super chat. Fun fact, with so many countries in Africa, there's none that start with the letter K. Huh. Wait. Wait. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not falling for this. You must think you're so smart. Thank you for your money, though. <laughs> smart money. <laughs> uh, why would Fang Fang steal the sleeping pills? At least I got some in the chat. <laughs> Let's match the last fingerprint first. All right. Fingerprints matched. The residue in the front of the fingerprint is quite unique. That's the residue from the scratch off part of a lottery ticket. Oh, John, thank you for the super chat. Sav can't make it to the stream, but he says hi. Hi, Sav! This fingerprint is probably from Qian Zhonglong. Qian Zhonglong. <clears throat> Rare evidence of Shiki showcasing a brain. What do you mean? I always have a brain. Hey. Are you sure you want to do this? I think I can handle seeing you once a week. Don't you want to see you every day? Of course I do, but... You've seen it yourself, she's really possessed by you. Miss Zhang said if Xiao Zhuan's soul leaves her body when we summon Yu's soul over, he can stay in her body forever. That way, our son will live with us again. Don't worry, the poison I got is strong. She'll die quietly so the body can remain complete. What? Poisoning an adult to death. I'm afraid we'll get caught. If anyone asks, just say that our daughter-in-law has gone mad and committed suicide by taking rat poison. I told Wang Jingkai he'll testify. Is he trustworthy? We've worked together for many years. He has never leaked anything. If I get caught, he won't get away as well. All right, then. Nar! Nar! Tian Zhongrong is the one who poisoned. I told you Zhao was innocent. She wouldn't ever harm Fang Fang. <clears throat> Miss Chen, it shouldn't be that simple. 
Tian Zhongrong laced the sleeping pills with poison. He knew Xiao was the one person who took them. Was the only person who took them. He was a very cautious person. He wouldn't put the poison into the kongi. Then who put the poison in the kongi? Now I only have one speculation. The Qian family's murder case was an accident, but it was also the inevitable result of an accumulation of conflicts. Do you mean... It began with the death of Qian Yu. Party! Okay. Proceed to light the candle! Qian Yu died from epilepsy. After his death, the Qian family grieved for a long time. Missing their son, Qian Yu's mother, E Guilan, repeatedly asked Miss Zhang, a witch, to summon Niu Sol. And the catalyst to the events was Miss Zhang's arrest. I guess after Miss Zhang was arrested, Qian Zhongrong paid her to get the soul summoning method. Soul summoning requires a living person for the soul to attach itself to. Zhao was the best choice for the Qians. <clears throat> Maybe Feng Feng overheard the secret regarding their soul summoning plans. And she told Zhao about this. So Zhao decided to play along, pretended to be possessed by Qian Yu. Wait a minute. Why did Xiao pretend to be a Qian Yu? Miss Qin, do you forget? Qian Zhongrong and his wife didn't allow Fang Fang to study in the city at first. Then they suddenly agreed. Could it be Xiao pretended to be Qian Yu so she could persuade them? Yes. Zhao hoped to bring Fang Fang out of this town, but her in-laws didn't allow it. And the only person in the family who could convince the grandparents was the deceased Qian Yu. Zhao plan Zhao's plan went well, and Fang Fang was allowed to study in the city. However, she underestimated how much her in-laws missed Qian Yu. The soul summoning ritual can only be held once in seven days. Qian Zhongrong wanted to see Qian Yu every day, which triggered his murderous plan. So, the actual person who put the poison in was... She was the person who witnessed everything but couldn't understand what happened. Miss Chen, you should know who I'm talking about. No. That's impossible. This is currently the most reasonable explanation. The fingerprints on the bottle cap aren't the key to solving the case. The order of the fingerprints is. Fang Fang stole the sleeping pills after Qian Zhongrong laced them with poison. What she stole is poison. If I'm correct, that's what happened on the day of the incident. No! That's so sad! <clears throat> Xiao Xuan? Xiao Xuan? Ooh. Mom? Xiao Xuan, I've had a cough over the last few days. Will you get me some medicine? The one from Kang Jin. That brand's medicine works well. Okay. Also, Aunt Li said that you went to Ye again for medicine. How many times have I told you not to go to his clinic? Mom, his clinic is legitimate and his medicine is good and cheap. Legitimate my ass. He couldn't even treat you. Hurry up. All right. All right. All right. I'm gonna drink a sip of water. <clears throat> Nar. My grandparents have never smiled since Dad died. Grandma burns incense and prays to Buddha every day. 
Grandpa always hides on the balcony and cries secretly. I hope they'll stop being sad. My grandma and grandpa said that today is the soul summoning day. Actually, I know that mom was pretending to be dad just like the old lady. Every time she pretended to be dad, mom had to eat fish, which she hated. Grandma said that mom loves me and dad very much, so she'll do things that she doesn't like. Was it because she loved me that she ate the fish? But I don't want mom to do things she doesn't like just because she loves me. I hope mom can do what she likes. Oh no. Mom said there would be no worries after taking this medicine. I hope that when I wake up, Mom, Grandma, and Grandpa will be happy. Fang Fang, what are you doing? Mom forgot to turn off the stove when she went out, so I'm helping her watch it. She's too forgetful. Save some food for her, let's eat first. No, 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 oh God, no! Mom, I'm back. Fang Fang? Fang Fang? Fang Fang? Mom, what are you doing? We're leaving this place after the national day. I'm packing up our clothes. Mom, this white dress is gorgeous. Why didn't you wear it? Mom is too old for this. No, I think you're still young. Please wear this next time we go to the park. I want to take photos of you. I'm really glad that you're such a sweet girl, Fang Fang. The dress is a bit wrinkled. Let me iron it. No! <laughs> Not the tears! <laughs> Not the tears! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh god! <clears throat> oh. You jinx. You're no good until you're dead. You have to die with us. Take the poison. Ow. Oh god. I have fear in my heart. No! No, 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 no. My body will not rot into the mud. Like a bird, I'll die in the sky. I got chills. <laughs> Why did this happen? Miss Chen, I'll try to report our findings to my superior. But the evidence is lacking, so it's very likely that... I understand. That's not the result I want to see, either. People believe that Feng Feng accidentally poisoned the family out of good intentions. They'd only think that Feng Feng killed the whole family due to mischievousness. Sorry for taking all your time for nothing, Officer Lin. This place seems to have changed back. Mm-hmm. Sound of a door opening comes from the inside. Miss Chen, there is nothing left to be investigated. 
I want to tell you one more thing before we leave. I lied to you. I got the ledger before the incident occurred and I've sent it to the press. It's okay, Miss Chen. Handing it to the press is the same as handing it to us. It's good as long as we can expose Qian Chonglong's transactions with his buyers. <laughs> Let's go then. What the fuck? <laughs> no, 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 no. Can I leave? Let me go. <laughs> Let's get out of here, I guess. This is sad. I'm depressed. <laughs> Officer Lin, I think I have left something back in the Qian's house. I'll be right back. You're a liar! <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do, but I don't like it! Sure. I'll be waiting for you here. What the heck? Can I go in here? Is it this? A voice call rec record is shown on the screen. Hello? Jing Sui? Hi, Chief. It's me. Jing Sui, I've received a ledger. No one else has read it, right? I'm the only one. Why are the names of our company executives on it? That happened a long time ago when the laws weren't strictly enforced at that time. So, will their names be published? Ching Sui, some of the names on it can be made public, some can't for now. And some can never be known to the public. After all, it's good now that we've got the ledger. Jing Sui, you've done a fantastic job. The credits is not... I've heard about what happened to the Qian family. What a shame that we weren't able to thank Miss Xiao in person. Don't get too hung up on it, Jing Sui. Also, now that Qian Zhonglong is dead, the buyers might search his house for the ledger. It isn't safe for you to stay there. You should return as soon as possible. Hmm. Chief, I have to prepare for class. Being a volunteer teacher is nothing but a disguise. Don't fall too deep into the role. I'll send someone to pick you up tomorrow. How does that sound? Can you give me three more days? I want to sort some stuff out. And I have another request. After the article is published, can you remove my name from it? Why? We'll talk when we meet, Chief. Okay. Make sure you stay safe. I don't like how stay safe is in red text. God. I don't like this. What's going on? We should go back, yeah? We should go s We sh- this Can I even open the store? Is it upstairs? Okay. Okay, so we should go back. And we should go up the stairs. Okay. Did Miss Chen make it back? Where did Miss Chen go? Have you seen Miss Chen? How long has it been since she last came to school? Has she gone missing? How can she be missing? Greetings, residents. This is a notice for a missing person. Jin Xing Jing Sui is a local primary school teacher who has been missing for three days. Miss Chin left school on the night of the 23rd. Her whereabouts are currently unknown. She was wearing a white blouse, long blue skirt, red hairband, and was carrying a red umbrella when she disappeared. If any residents know the whereabouts of Miss Chin, please inform the office. In addition, we'll organize an aquatic 
search and rescue, we hope that seasoned swimmers and divers can participate actively. I'd also like to remind everyone that there has been a lot of rain during this season, and the roads near the river are slippery, so pay attention while driving. Wait. Wasn't there like a missing persons poster at the beginning of the game? Oh my god! <sighs> Where do you think she went? I heard that it rained on the day she disappeared. Do you think it's possible that she fell into the river? Chien's granddaughter was Miss Chin's student. Nothing good has happened to anyone who got close to that family. Right? People have been saying that they received calls from Chien's daughter-in-law in the middle of the night. I also heard that the town is going to hold a memorial for Miss Chin. Why would they hold a memorial when they haven't even found the body? Miss Chin is young and single. It would be ominous that she died away from home. If they had performed a ritual earlier, the spirits wouldn't have caused so, so much trouble. I pick up. What the heck? What the heck? Big rock. Hello, children. Kids, what are you doing? We're here to look for Miss Chen. People have been saying that Miss Chen fell into the water and drowned. But we believe she'll come back. Grandma said if we release lanterns into the water, the people who fell into the water will follow the lanterns and find their way back. It's dangerous to go near the river. I'll help you release the lanterns. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Officer. <laughs> I... Oh, are we playing? Oh my god. We are. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Milky Way. Oh my god. It's so pretty. <laughs> Miss Chen. Officer, what brought you here? I'm looking for you. So are many people. Sorry for worrying you all. A lot of things have happened recently. My mind is a mess. All my troubles seem to disappear every time I come. What is this place? This is an empty field behind my house. When I was little, I accidentally fell into a dry well while I was playing here. It was at night, and I was very scared. I had no idea how much time had passed, and I inadvertently looked up. You do not recognize the bodies in the water! <laughs> and I saw something that I'd never forget for my whole life. I seemed to have forgotten my fear, just staring at the bright, starry sky. And someone dropped a rope down to me. 
I slowly climbed up the rope. <clears throat> As I climbed closer to the top, my range of vision grew wider. As soon as I made it out of the dry well, the entire starry sky stretched out before me. But I didn't find the person who dropped the rope down. I didn't tell my parents about this when I got home. I thought it was just an unforgettable childhood experience that stuck with me. But after spending some time in Jingdan, I finally understood. The children here are like me when I was trapped in a well. They can only look up and see a little part of the starry sky. I want to be the one who throws the rope to them. I want these children to go out and see the world. Miss Chen, I know you want to help those children. They are also waiting for you to return. Mm-hmm. It's time. We can use this rope to climb out of here. By the way, Miss Chen, something just came to my mind. I promised you that I'd tell you how I obtained those clues when the Chen family's case is solved. There's no need. I got the gist of it. You're different from everyone else. This could be destiny. You're destined to be a cop who seeks justice for the dead. I'll try to be that person, Miss Chen. I believe in you. By the way, officer, I can't climb up by myself. Will you climb up there, then drag me up? I'm not heavy. You can definitely do it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I have fear in my heart. Beautiful starry sky was drawing closer. So close, almost within. I start to understand how Miss Chen felt when she climbed up the well. I find myself wanting to share my feelings at that moment. But as I turn around, Miss Chen is gone. All I saw was the bottomless well with its water reflecting the starry horizon. Where did Miss Chin go? No one knows. Maybe she went somewhere far away, returned someday. Maybe it's become one of the stars in the Milky Way. What the fuck? <laughs> You're finally awake. We fainted twice tonight, that's serious. Jing? Captain, why am I here? You even asked the same thing twice. You passed out in a bathroom. If no one had found you, you would have lied. You would have to lie on the floor all night. Bathroom? Is there a broken mirror with a rose there? Yeah, there's one with a rose pattern. Speculation was right. I entered that world when I looked at the mirror in the bathroom of Tian's house. Captain, is Li Shun always like this? Did he bump his head? He just woke up. Still trying to figure out what happened. Shang, I have to report to our superiors about the case. Stay here and take care of Li Shun. Captain, are there any progress on the Qian family's case? 
Lishun, do you know about that case? Yes, that's exactly why I went to the Qian's house to investigate. That's perfect, it'll save us time from explaining. Basically, there's a new suspect in that case. Who is it? You probably met him before. He's the doctor in the clinic, Ye Jingshan. <clears throat> Is there any evidence? We searched the Tian's house again and discovered that some of the salt in the kitchen was laced with rat poison. The bag of salt had been resealed and barely left any traces. This can never be done in just one or two attempts. The clues led us to the clinic's storage room. We found large amounts of similar salt packages there. It's likely that he practiced many times to ensure that the seal was intact. I have a hiccup! <laughs> Ye Jingshan had a motive for murder. Mm -hmm. I heard about the grudge between Xian Zhongrong and Ye Jingshan. There's still something that doesn't make sense. Right, but there's no way to continue the investigation. The suspect is dead. I'm afraid this case will become an unsolved case. Yixing Shan is dead? Yeah, he was burned to death. It happened near the Qian's house. Yixing Shan's car was completely burned. All that left, all that's left was the frame. He found a body and it's suspected to be Yixing Shan. It's been delivered to Miss Song for an autopsy. How did the car catch on fire? There were a lot of fireworks in the car! <laughs> Perhaps Ye Jingshan was transporting them from the city for someone else. We also found cigarette butts in the car. Ye Jingshan was probably smoking while driving and a cigarette butt accidentally dropped on the fireworks and ignited them. Zhang Ming, have you checked if Ye Jingshan was a smoker? Well, he secretly smoked and was seen by several of his patients. He did smoke. Saw him do it. My dogs be barking. I was gonna say, the more you want to hide it, the more likely you'll get caught. Anyway, why did he hide the fact he was a smoker? The more you want to hide it, the more likely you'll get caught. <laughs> Ooh, what is going on? What's wrong, Lishun? It's incorrect. There's something wrong. Lishun? Lishun must have thought about something. Don't disturb him. Where is he going? What's going on? Do you want to smoke? Don't tell anyone about me smoking. I always tell the old folks here to smoke less, and I can't justify it if they find out that I smoke too. This guy is redacted! Now I think about it, Ye Jingshan seemed to have deliberately smoked in front of me. But why did he pretend to smoke? Why would he pretend to smoke? What is going on? Oh! Uncle Wang? Why am I here? Who gave me this pack of cigarettes? Joshua, my leg is in pain again. Will you go to the pharmacy and pick up some medicine for me? Go to the one in the west of the town. Don't go to Ye's clinic. Sure. Get some rest, Mom. Don't push yourself too hard. What is going on? Oh! Oh! Dr. Ye? Will this plan really work? Who do you think has the most say in the Qian family after Qian Yu's death? My father-in-law? No, it's still Qian Yu. You also know that your in-laws trusted the witch very much before. But who they believed in is not the witch, it's Qian Yu. This is a rare opportunity. You need to pretend to be possessed by Qian Yu and get your in-laws trust. That way you'll get the chance to escape with Fang Fang. But will they believe it? 
Miss Zhao, did she and you smoke? Yeah, he used to smoke the same brand of cigarettes as you do. I don't smoke. A patient's family member gave it to me just now. I'm just holding the cigarette in my hand, and you mistakenly thought I smoke. Apply the same principle. Do what she and you often did. After a while, they'll believe that the soul summoning is working. Lastly, you need to mimic one key behavior to convince them that you're truly possessed. It's something you would never do. I hate eating fish. I'm sick every time I smell it. I've never had a bite of fish since I married into the Qian family. But Qian Yu loved eating fish. Then you'll slowly adapt to eating fish during this period of time. I can prescribe some anti-vomiting medicine for you. However, the medicine's efficiency is limited, and the adaptation process will be painful. I understand. I'll do anything as long as I can get Fang Fang out of here. Li Shun, did something come to your mind? Captain Lu, Ye Jingshan's death is too strange. Why are they barking? I don't have time to explain now. I want to take a look at his body. No problem, I'll handle things on Xin Hui's side. Zheng Ming, set up roadblocks on the main roads in town. Report to me right away if you encounter anyone suspicious. Roger that. He's not going anywhere on my watch. Li Shun, I'll wait for the outcome. Understood, Captain. I won't let you down. Do your dog smoke? <laughs> Woo! We're back in the game, baby. All right. Let's take a sippy of water. Mm. Boychar. Okay. Ah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Can't get in there. But we can't go in here. Oh, what is this? Photographs. Chin family's crime scene photos are hanging on the wall. Exploring the Qian's house was like a dream. After learning what happened, what everyone in the Qian family went through, I feel surreal looking at the way they died, as if they just, I just woke up from a dream. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Oh, I'm getting hungry. I should order food soon. Hello, body. Baby, 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 baby. The charred skeleton can be vaguely seen through the white cloth. I don't see shit. The strong smell of fireworks greets you alongside the remaining warmth. Show me the dead body. It's as if the bones are still burning deep inside. Who are you? Are you Xun Hui? I'm Lin Li Shun. I'm new here. Oh, are you the rookie who passed out during the first dispatch? Hello, you are gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous girl. <laughs> Never mind. Zhang Ming wasn't any better when he just joined the team. Captain Lu told me beforehand. You don't wanna you wanna know if this body is my senior schoolmate, Yay? Yay, your senior schoolmate? I used to call him like that. Jin Hui, you and Dr. Ye graduated from the same school? We both graduated from Shang Sheng Medical University. He graduated two years earlier than me. Did Dr. Ye study forensics as well? I would say he was half forensic. Well, during an anatomy class, Ye found something wrong with the organ of a donated corpse that died from a heart attack. 
Later, the lecturer invited the head of the forensic medicine department, a renowned individual in forensic science, Professor, Professor Liu, Liu Yuqiong, to perform an autopsy. After Professor Liu's autopsy, it was determined that the donated corpse was killed by medicine that can cause myocardial infarction. It sounds made up. <laughs> The suspect was arrested soon after that, and Ye became a star on campus. Professor Liu hoped that Ye could work with him. Although Ye's department didn't let him go, he investigated many cases with the Professor Liu. That's why Dr. Ye said that he knew a lot of cops. Yeah, everyone thought Ye was a rising star in the forensic field. But after graduation, he opened a small clinic in town. I heard that it was because his parents didn't want him to be a forensic doctor. They believed that this job would bring them bad luck. Professor Liu was also my supervisor. He seemed devastated every time this was brought up. Sorry for talking so much. It's okay. I want to know more about Dr. Ye anyway. Let's get down to business. You wanted to know if this corpse is Ye Jingshan, right? Yes, and... We need to do it as soon as possible because we're running out of time. It won't be easy because Ye Jingshan was adopted and we couldn't find his blood relatives for many years. Additionally, there are too many samples in the clinic. Analyzing them one by one will take too long. Hui, there's a way to determine it in a short time. Oh, what is it? I didn't expect you to know this. So is this method feasible? It surely is, but the bones are severely damaged. Putting the bones back into their original arrangement is a lot of work. The trainee my super superior sent hasn't arrived yet. If I do this alone, it'll take a long time. So is there another way? I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> God. I was hinting that you should help me, silly. Thank you for the blushies. Oh, we're rearranging shit. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know anatomy. Here, right? Okay. Oh god. I don't know. Bone puzzle. Can I pick this up? Can I pick this up? Okay, no. Okay, cool. Um. Oh my god. Um. Where does... How does anatomy work? Um. Interesting. Interesting indeed. I can rotate? Oh my god, okay. Cool. This is so pog. Okay, we never have to worry about anything ever again. Um, actually, maybe we do. Um, okay, um, okay, um, okay, so maybe this thing, right? Maybe it goes down here. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. I can't drag it any further. Wait, no. No, I didn't want you- no. No, that's not what I want. No. Can I- okay, you go here? 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 Okay, okay. We got it, we got it, we got it, okay. Okay. Okay, I know where this goes. I know where this goes. Pog dog. Pog. So pog. Okay, and then this. Obviously, we gotta turn this shit. Wait. And then here, yeah? No. No? Okay, yeah, okay. And then this? Okay, we got it. We're so smart. Wait. Okay. Pog. <laughs> Your hypothesis was right.
What is going on? Thanks for your hard work, Xin Hui. I'll report this to Captain Liu. Mm-hmm. Xin Hui, I know it's bad news regardless of whether Dr. Ye is dead or alive. There may be hidden truths in this case. We'll definitely find him and ask him for the truth. Okay. Thanks, Li Shun. You can use the phone in the office to contact Captain Liu. You did her job! Get me out of here! Let's do it! Hey, Captain Liu? Li Shun, how are things going there? Xin Hui has confirmed that the body isn't Ye Jingshan. Good, Li Shun. Good thing that you noticed something was off. You can always find clues that others can't, just like your dad. Why are you bringing my daddy into it? We're going to check the bus stations and train stations. He's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Captain, can I ask you a favor? Oh, well, Tyler, thank you for the super chat. If the chat didn't tell you about rotating bones, do you believe you would have solved that puzzle? Hmm, do you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like eventually I would have figured it out, but it probably would have taken much longer. Captain, you know I have daddy issues. I'm so hungry. I don't know if we can finish today. Officer? How did you know it was me before I even started to talk? Almost no one knows this number. You answered a call from this number at the public phone market owned by the Tians. I guess you memorized the number back then. You're very smart, Ye Xingshan. You almost fooled everyone. But not you. If you had taken that train just now, your plan would have succeeded. Nothing like an autopsy to work up an appetite! Damn, he's there. <laughs> you're, you're fucked, bro. Ye Jingshan, we have you surrounded. I asked my superior for some time to ask you some questions alone. You got me. I have nothing to say. Showdown! Damn, he right there. This isn't an interrogation. It's an equal communication. Someone once taught me to exchange questions for questions. Probably also have a lot of questions for me. What's the point of doing this? No, you didn't poison the family. I don't want to pin it on the wrong person. But I also want to know why you did what you've done. I don't know what you're talking about. You've treated me as a pawn ever since I entered the clinic. Hold on. Bruh. You led me to investigate the Qian family case because you created a new suspect for the case. You pretended to be a smoker in front of me so I'd believe that you were burned to death in the fire due to your smoking habit. This way, Zhao could be cleared of charges. The real murderer would be burned to death while you escaped. I answered your question, now it's your turn to answer mine. Why did you help Zhao escape the Qian family? I was trafficked here as a kid, but the townspeople were unaware of this. I barely shared the secret with people. Zhao was trapped here, just like me. I helped her just like helping my patients. One second. Oh. 
Sorry, my mom came in. Okay, let's continue. Her illness came from this place, so leaving here was her best treatment. It's my turn to ask a question. How did you discover that I wasn't dead? Your plan was very thorough, but the corpse gave you away. Which part of the body gave me away? Oh shit! Um... Is it the collarbone? Was there anything special about the collarbone? Shit! That's impossible. Fuck! Oh! Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I forgot! I forgot all about that! Your ribs were broken by Qian Zhengrong. Under normal circumstances, even if your ribs had recovered, there would be fibrocartilage calluses. Our forensic experts spent the whole night putting the ribs together and found out that the ribs didn't have any calluses. Seems like I underestimated your forensic expert. Mmm. Water. Mmm. Water. <clears throat> the forensic expert was none other than the student of the famous Liu. She was your schoolmate. It's my turn to ask a question. Why did you try to take the blame? I thought of the worst case scenario when I helped Zhao develop an escape plan. But I didn't expect the situation would get much worse. After her death, people called her a madwoman, a psycho, a murderer, which I didn't expect either. It was my plan that killed Zhao and Fang Fang. I should be the one to bear the charges. Dr. Ye, no one could predict that things would go in that direction. That was just my first reason. My second reason? Since I was a child, my adopted parents kept telling me that I was abandoned by my biological parents. My adopted parents arranged a lot of things that I didn't want. I never resisted. I wanted to repay them for the kind act of nurturing me. They didn't tell me the truths until they were on their deathbeds. They'd been deceiving me for their whole life. After they passed away, I didn't shed a tear, nor did I feel relieved. The name Ye Jingshan still trapped me here. I wanted this name to bear all the charge, and I will start a new life with a new identity. Any reason? That counts as another question. It's my turn to ask. I left you with a question during our first call. How did you find these clues? How about we answer with the stupidest one first? There is a saying in the field of forensics that forensics is a profession that can communicate with the dead. Yeah, but that's just an analogy. I can also communicate with the dead. I can see into their past. I know secrets that only the dead knows. Perhaps this unreasonable answer is the most reasonable. Can you continue to answer that question now? The last reason, leaving Qingtan with Zhao's will and expectation of me. On the day of the incident, she came to the clinic to buy medicine. Why do I have two Slack notifications? Hold on. General. Oh, Beltrello. Okay, no prob. Dr. Ye, do you have any Kangjian brand's cough medicine? I happened to restock a batch recently. I'll get a pack for you. Thank you. Oh, Dr. Ye, Fang Fang and I will leave Jingtan next month. I come to say goodbye. I don't know if we'll have a chance to meet again in the future. Miss Zhao, the last step of the plan is that you have to go somewhere even I won't be able to find. The ideal scenario is not to meet up again. 
However, if we're destined to meet again, maybe we'll meet somewhere in the world. Mm -hmm. Oh, a while ago, my father-in-law won four cruise tickets. My in-laws don't like to travel far, so I gave one to Miss Chen. And I wish to give the last one to you. Hold on, my dog was being bad. What are you doing? Put it down. You're crazy. You're crazy, little fool. You've been in town for such a long time, you should go out and relax. Dr. Ye, the infusion bottle was almost empty. Okay, I'll change it right away. I'm sorry, it's autumn and there are many patients in the clinic. I'm overwhelmed. Michelle, thank you for your kindness, but... It's okay. I'll reserve it for you. Tell me if you want to go one day. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> she was a respectable person. She was not only saving herself, but me as well. I didn't understand at that time, but it was too light, light, late when I did. After she died, I told myself that I should try to leave. She wouldn't want you to leave in this way. But I'm the type of person that can't move forward without being pushed. And when I finally decided to move forward, I realized I was still trapped. You obviously had the opportunity to get in the train before I showed up. Officer Lin, do you see the mountains ahead? Oh, sheesh. They're like piled up ashes. When I stare at them, I feel an indescribable confusion and fear. Maybe they're just a mass of lifeless ashes, or maybe they're still smoldering inside. I feel as if I can see my biological parents. That is deep. <laughs> the music. <laughs> Their figures are vague, they're wandering through the mountains like ghosts. Their mouths are open and they are calling out. Maybe calling my name. But I've forgotten my original name long ago. I didn't understand until then that I'm homeless. There isn't any place for me in the world. A home that was once warm, the people who can accompany me, have been buried in these mountains of ashes. This is sad. Dr. Ye, do you have any questions? I have no more questions. I only have one request. Officer Lin, please forget the conversation that just happened. I'm the criminal who killed three Qian family members and caused Zhao to commit suicide. Hold on. Beppy is getting into something he shouldn't be. Stop it. Put it down. Put it down. You're crazy. You're a crazy little animal. Bag. Put that down. You're crazy. Okay. Ugh. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> there we go. Yixing <laughs> Shan, you're suspected of arson and desecration of a human corpse. You're under arrest in accordance with the law. What the fuck? <laughs> After reinvestigation, the police discovered Ye Xingshan falsified the evidence of him killing the Qian family. The identity of the burned corpse was also confirmed. It was Wang Jingkai, the owner of the small store. Ye Xingshan was prosecuted for arson, desecration of a human corpse, and falsifying evidence. The Qian family murder case was back to its original state. The case was closed again. Actually, I still have one more question for Ye Jingshan. I want to know if another person was also involved in this plan. I don't think he'll answer this question. I also have my own answer. I will keep this answer in my heart forever. Yeah. 
Yishun, what do you see this time? There's nothing but a blank white space. Where is the hearse carrying your father? I didn't continue to chase the hearse. I stopped and watched it. Until it disappeared from my sight. Why didn't you chase it? I just saw the miseries in the world. I also saw souls struggling painfully in it. I shouldn't have chased after my dad's honor and glory. There are still people suffering at the bottom of the dark abyss. That's where I should go. There are several announcements posted on the public bulletin board. A volunteer teacher of Jingtan Primary School, Jin Ching Sui, has passed away at the age of 27. Hereby notified Culture and Education Office of Jingtan Town Government. Eh. <laughs> the report on the tomb robbery. Hey, Beth! Come here! Come here! Stop being bad. Recently, Jinghei Times has reported on the tomb robbery in Jingtan Town, which has caused an outcry. Jinghei Times reporter conducted a secret investigation and found a tomb robbery syndicate led by Qian that had existed for a long time and had engaged in tomb robbery and sales of cultural relics. As the tomb robbery cases surface, the cultural relic trades exposed were even shocking. According to the ledger, which was made public by Jinghe Times, there were hundreds of buyers. Currently, the Jinghe municipal government has gathered forces from all walks of life to protect Jingtan's cultural relics and crack down on illegal and criminal activities. Okay. Happy, what are you doing? <laughs> A few days ago, someone found this letter downstream. It's completely damaged after being soaked in water. The Jinghe Times editorial office, Jinghe City, is written on the envelope, signed by Chen Jingsui. The letter is soaked and damaged. It's impossible to read what was written. We speculate based on the fragmentary content that this is a resignation letter. Ms. Chin probably wanted to quit her job at the press and stay here to continue teaching. However, this letter didn't make it to the destination. It, the paper. No! Jin's funeral is being held in town today. According to the custom here, there will be fireworks at the funeral. People believe fireworks can help missing souls find their way. This is a funeral without the body of the deceased. It sounds absurd. But if we spend two, three, five, ten years looking for Miss Chin, who would hold a funeral for her by then? Stop! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> that belong? God! Hold on. Pepper, stop eating what you're eating! Now is not the time! Come here! Stop it. Being bad. Being bad during an emotional moment. Is that Miku Hatsune? Okay, wait. At first it sounded like 
It sounded like a Vocaloid. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. That was a really good game. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> It's raining, huh? Yeah! <laughs> it's a terrible day for rain! What the heck? We won, but at what cause? <laughs> oh my god. Angus, thank you for the super chat. Thanks for the stream. Thank you for coming and thank you for the super chat. <laughs> I wish to thank my family and friends who offered me generous help in the development of this game. Thanks to all the players. I could not read that as fast as I could, but it was very nice. Thank you for everyone who plays Firework. I hope that you find something valuable in this journey. I sure did, Moon Roach! Oh my god! <laughs> that was such a good game! Thank you, Firework Developers! Oh, on the- I just realized, to the side, they have like a Discord. They have like a Discord. If you guys feel like joining it. And maybe talking about the game. That was so nice. That was such a good game. Oh, man. I love Miss Chin. <laughs> Let me move over. Hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> that made me depressed. You thought you were playing a horror game, but it's actually an emotional roller coaster. That was me when I played Anne <laughs> as well. Uh, if I were you, I would have refused to finish this game to protect my heart. <laughs> oh my god. I believe that the, the creators actually... From what ESD told me was they reached out because they wanted me to play. I'm so glad that they did. Um, I think they, they gave me a code, like a free code for the game. But I feel bad receiving free things, so I ended up just buying the game instead. Uh, I don't like just like taking freebies for this kind of thing. Because I know that a lot of work goes into them. So I just ended up buying the game. I really appreciate the code though. That was really, really sweet of them. I'm glad I could play. All right, let's read Super Chat. I I'll read uh, the ones that I haven't read that 
haven't read yet. Let's see. Aren't horror games but a look into the fears and emotions of the human mind? What our subconscious holds closely is something to be afraid of for ourselves or others. Or something deep like that. <laughs> Stream began with depression and ended with depression. No, for real. Let's see. Let's see. Oh! Wait. Oh, Herbert! I missed the super chat earlier. Herbert, thank you for the super chat. What do you mean shy with other VTubers? What's with all your wives then? Okay, but like, I've no, I, I, some of my wives I have known for a long time. <laughs> Sometimes I work up the courage. Also, I, I've already told Yuda that I will not cheat on her for this entire lifetime. So I don't know what you're talking about. I only have one wife right now. That's Yuda. That's Yuda. Let's see. I read Parsi's. I read Tony's. I read John's. Oh, Kat, thank you for the Streamlabs dono, because I'll never get over how good your reading and narration is for games and other activities with voice acting. Aw, oh, Kat, thank you! Uh, Kat, thank you for the bless you in the super chat. Uh, I read this. I read Angus's. Uh, and the biggest saddest loser! Thank you for the Streamlabs dono, you damn liar, Shiki. That wasn't scary at all. That was just sad, the confusion, and then sad again. I had fun. I'm glad you can have fun. <laughs> It's okay, Shiki. Yuda isn't here. You can reel with us about your many wives. No, I have one. I have one wife. That is Yuda. Yuda Rikudo. Yeah, soon she's gonna change her last name to Miyoshino. Shiki and Yuda sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. <laughs> yeah, I had fun! That was so good. Alright, guys. Wow. Oh my god. Thank you guys so, so much for coming out to the last, uh, part of Firework. I think that took three streams to get through. That was so good. That was really, really good. I hope that more people will play it. I know that Noan really liked the way that it looked. Uh, so hopefully she'll play it as well. Uh, I hope more people in general just play it. It's a really, really good game. I, I was very, very impressed. It was, it was really nice. Very charming game. Ah, uh, but yeah, uh, I will see you guys... Um, on the, is it the 22nd? Yes, I will see you on the 22nd. I have a collab with Miss Coyote and also with Nia. We are going to be playing the game Forewarned uh, together. It'll be a really cute collab <laughs> with all of our little animal friends. Uh, and then the next day on Sunday, I will be doing my Ada Ada stream. We'll be playing Outlast. So yeah, that'll be lots and lots of fun. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for coming out to the stream today. I will see you on Saturday then. All right, thank you so much for coming out, everyone. Oyashiki! I'm gonna get some pizza now. Bye! <laughs>